Welcome. In this video, we will be looking at the Chinese philosophy of harmony. Harmony is one of the most valued ideas in Chinese society. Harmony means to have proper and balanced coordination between things. One who achieves this will experience success. Historically, in ancient China, people were living close to each other in communities. The community unit was extremely important. They were relying on one another, and in order to live together peacefully, there was a strong need to communicate well. Harmony, which can be defined as a situation of peace, happiness, and agreement, therefore played a major role in the earliest days. The ideas of Confucius, the most famous and respected philosopher in China, living between 551 and 479 BCE are still major components of modern Chinese culture. One of his key theories was his view on the concept of harmony. To him, harmony is among others created with the help of music, which transforms people to become more civilized, thereby a balance between individuals, nature, and society can be generated. He once claimed that in carrying out rights, it is harmony that is prized. With this statement, he tried to point out that harmony is the foundation of any successful interaction. The doctrine of the mean is stated to be one of Confucius's four most important writings. Mean stands for center in equilibrium and occurs when feelings such as joy or anger have not yet appeared. Once they have reached a certain level, harmony arises. As long as this level can be kept, the balance of many things is maintained. Harmony is deeply connected to another Chinese value, family. Family is the centerpiece of Chinese values. For if one can create harmony in their family, they can help create prosperity for all. This is connected to benevolence another key value, which serves as a basis for values such as justice, self-discipline, honesty, and wisdom. The idea of harmony at its core is to go from a seat of incoordination to one of coordination, from imbalance to balance, and this can be between humanity and nature, or between two people, or between mind and body. For example, a village is experiencing a time of great drought, and it asks for a monk to help bring rain to the fields. The monk agrees, only requesting a small hut with a garden to stay in and to tend to. For three days he tends the garden, and he did no special rituals or anything besides tending to the vegetables. On the fourth day, the rain came. When he was asked how he was able to cause such a miracle, the monk simply replied by saying he was not responsible for the rain. He explains that when he came to the village, he sensed a state of disharmony inside himself. Each day, as he tended the garden, he felt himself to begin a return to harmony. When balance returned, the rain came naturally. This is because when we are in harmony with ourselves, we also form a connection to the natural flow of things. As a more contemporary example, the philosophy of harmonization made me think of one of my own activities, rowing. Being a rower requires not only physical fitness but mental fortitude, concentration, and rhythm. There is much technique involved. You bring your arms straight forward, bend your torso forward from the hips, bend your knees to slide up, and compress your legs till they are at your chest with your shins vertical. This is when you take a stroke. Then you dip your oar in the water, shoot out with your legs to accelerate your body, lean your torso back slightly from your hips, and pull the oar handle to your chest, and you have just taken one complete stroke. There are many steps in taking a single stroke. However, when you tie them all together, it becomes one smooth motion, much like the water. Typically, you row in four or eight-man boats, so unless you are the lead rower setting the pace, you cannot speed up by getting carried away 
You cannot slow down if you get exhausted. You must harmonize with your teammates, the boat, and the water. The number of strokes does not always matter as much as the power you put behind each one. You could row at 36 strokes per minute with no power and be slower than rowing at an 18 stroke per minute pace with maximum effort. The crew that can best harmonize together and become one single and fluid motion is the one who wins the race. I would ask you take a moment to take a look at yourself and think about what you harmonize, what requires you to foster a balance, an equilibrium. Did you achieve success? Were you able to achieve harmony? What was the outcome? It is this harmonious engagement our inner attitude is deeply connected to the events taking place throughout the world. Unfortunately, however, recent events in the world have changed and created much disharmony. For many of us, we have lost our ability to interact with our community as before. Many of us have lost our jobs or been stuck at home waiting for things to return to how they once were. Despite this, now may be a better time than ever for us to look within ourselves. The task we are currently facing is to restore our inner peace with the flow of life. By doing this, we open up a feeling of connection with existence and thus creating harmony with both ourselves and what is around us. And if we do as the monk did in his hut for the village, then perhaps the rain might just show up for us. Thank you.